using brain power usually means deep thinking to solve problems. That's right. That phrase has a whole new meaning, though, at the University of Miami Miller School of Medicine. Kevin Ozebeck shows us why in today's 7 Spotlight. For many people, getting to drive in a NASCAR race car is a dream come true. But for German Zuniga, his time on the track is nothing short of a miracle. German was paralyzed in a car accident 10 years ago. At the beginning, I couldn't move anything. I could only basically move my neck. Now, German is on the road to more mobility thanks to cutting-edge surgery at the Miami Project to Cure Paralysis. This device was implanted underneath the skin in the chest. Dr. Jonathan Jagged implanted the device called a brain-computer interface at the end of 2018. These strips are collecting electrical information from the brain itself. That electrical information is sent through the device, then transmitted to this computer and onto special gloves. They open and close when German just thinks about it. I just visualize I want to grab something, think about doing that movement. Dr. Kevin Davis designed the technology that allows German to use the device outside the lab. We essentially took all of the stuff that they had done in the lab and packaged it into a smaller uh, software that we put on the back of German's wheelchair, um, but so that he can control it. Now, wherever he is, German can open doors, grasp objects, and use a pen to write. In the lab, he's even working on taking steps. I feel like uh, I have more movement of my body and I like more control of it. But his most exciting moment was in the driver's seat with Fauci Adaptive Motorsports in Colorado. Their race car is designed for people with spinal cord injuries. They developed the technology on their end for the car and then we made sure that our system was ready so that by the time we got there, uh, we could plug the systems together, do a quick test and, and run it. With a safety driver at his side at Pikes Peak International Raceway, German used his thoughts to control the speed. Uh, it was amazing like, to see that uh, I had full control of the car without anybody helping me. German is the first patient to use the power of his brain to drive. Here he was, essentially controlling the throttle of a car with his thoughts. There was a lot of excitement there. For German, it's an experience he'll never forget. I felt free, you know, felt good to be independent, to go around the labs and just enjoy the ride. And it's technology that is always advancing. The field is really exponentially moving forward rapidly, and so I think the future is pretty big. German is now majoring in computer science at Miami-Dade College. He hopes to eventually work at the Miami Project to Cure Paralysis, creating equipment to help others with spinal cord injuries. Kevin Ozebeck, 7 News. Wow. Just incredible. The UM scientists say one day we could all be using this technology, controlling lights and devices in our lives. If you have a 7 Spotlight that you would like us to highlight, go ahead and send an email over to 7 Spotlight at WSVN.com. Incredible to think that they're doing all of that right here in South Florida. Yeah, you know? so innovative.